um, we're going to ask, we're going to go forth with our workshop one, which is our Cassandra Thorne. We're going to work for from Cassandra Thorne. And then who's a dear sister of mine, just going to give you a little bit about Cassandra because I know her very well because we're, we live together. We were born together. Well, we're yeah. not twins, but you know what I'm saying. Pretty much close, very close. And mm -hmm. um, a, 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 a true woman of God, a teacher, someone that loves the Lord, someone that, that will give her heart, amen. And God has truly blessed her because of who she is. And we thank God for her. So we want you to sit back, receive what she has, because it's some good stuff. This is good medicine for your soul. Amen. amen. You ain't got to worry about taking a Tylenol or aspirin. But when you <laughs> what she's about to give to you, Amen. It's going to bless you tremendously. And then we'll get back to you after Cassandra is finished. But enjoy. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Renee. Bless you. Okay. Um, All right. Okay. Um, Good morning, woman of purpose. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As Renee has said, I'm Cassandra. And our first workshop this morning is Embrace Your Purpose. Let's pray. God, it is my deepest desire always to teach others to observe all things that you have commanded. And therefore, I ask you to empower me through your Holy Spirit to teach for lasting life change. I invite you to work to develop an applier's heart in my life and in the lives of these women assembled here today. Impart to us your heart for the world. Amen. 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 Next slide, please. And you can move to the next one as well. So I started my day with um, this um, workshop with just kind of defining the words embrace. Um, Pay down for me, Tanisha. All right, thank you. Um, which is a hole in your arm and purpose, and I'm using just D, the aim or goal of a purpose, of a person. We don't have to look hard for our purpose because it's right in front of us. Mm. We just need to embrace and that's just hold it, wrap it in our arm. And while doing that, I said, ask ourselves these questions. Why am I here? Is, there, is this all there is? What does God want me to do with my talents, my time, and my treasure? Do I have anything of value to offer others? After meditating on these questions, turn to your body, pray for direction, follow the will of God, and live a purpose-driven life. Next slide, please. Romans 8.28 says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. All things work together for good, them that love God, and they are called according to his purpose. The author Ruth Wilkinson says, it is time to begin the journey of our life. May your heart sing as you embrace everything God has planned there. He's talking about embracing that also, embracing going on the journey that mm -hmm. God has for your life. Next slide, please. Again, I'm I, as a, as a I'm not a teacher per se by profession, but in my calling, I I like to kind of give you a definition of words that we're using um, because some words have so many different meanings. So calling here is a, a, a vocation, a line of work. Vocation is a strong feeling of suitability for a particular career or occupation. And call is to order or request to undertake a particular activity or work. God has called us to run this race with endurance. Next slide, please. Do you believe you're called. We have to think about that. And then mm -hmm. I walk with God. We might not say, well, Lord, what it is that I have to do? Mm -hmm. What are you seeing in me? As I, as I mentioned before, asking ourselves those questions. 
Here are five ways to clue yourself into what your calling or purpose is. One, think of your calling as a way of being, being rather than doing. It is who you are. It's what you put your time in. And then I'll, we'll talk about that a little bit um, also. Watch yourself and what you do with your time. How much time are you spending? It's we place our time in the things that we love to do. Listen to what others are saying. Seek God first, because he'll give you direction. He'll let you know what it is that you're called to do. And you'll get confirmation when you speak with your pastors, your mentors, and even close friends, because they can see you operating in that calling that's upon your life. Four, think of your activities and interests. What are you doing? What are, what, what are the things that you are doing that is working toward this calling that is placed on your life? Five, and pay attention to how you how it makes you feel. If you're doing something you're calling it your calling and you're not happy in it, obviously it can't be your calling. Mm -hmm. It has to be your passion because what happened when it's your passion, you put everything into it, knowing that this is what I would love to do. I'm happy when I go forth to teach the word. I'm happy when I minister in song. I'm happy when I preach the word. Not only I feel that I am touching hearts and lives but also it's something i think i'm, I'm doing because i'm like yes lord yes, yes. for your glory lord yes. for your yes. glory yes. Hallelujah. my passion is um uh, making god happy about what i'm doing because i'm following what he has instructed me to do next slide please again do you believe your call this morning, I wanted just to share with you about three kinds of women who may struggle with whether they are called and what is their purpose. And there, there's flash on the stream, but I'm gonna talk a little bit more about it. First, the woman with a very past, a desire in her heart to be fulfilled. She lights up when she talks about what she would love to do someday, but it all seems so far off, so unattainable. And she wondered if she's delusional. Or just dream. Hey, that, I want to do that. Yes, Lord, I want to do it. But uh, hey, that just that just seems too far off. That's not that's not within my reach, Lord. I I don't I don't think I can do this, Lord. But God has a plan and purpose for her that takes time to unfold. It requires her cooperation, and it goes beyond what her own mind can conceive. Because what happened is when we work to do things for God, it is not in our own strength but it's in the strength of God that we can go forth and do it. Mm -hmm. Are you this woman? The second woman is a woman who has been so beat down by life, had so many heartfelt desires pushed aside that she's barely alive and she's hardly passionate. The light goes out of her eyes. Life is mostly a duty and she is quite sure it will always be this way. She's afraid to dream because she would rather not be disappointed. However, God wants to impart renewed hope and inspired vision to her. He wants to bring life back to her life. Are you this kind of woman? The third woman is the woman who is earnest in her walk with Jesus, but does not resonate with words like dream or calling. What? Dream? Call what you talking about? Doesn't, it's not familiar to her. She's not familiar to her at all. She just wants to be faithful right where she is. I've been doing this a long time. I'm staying here and I'm not moving. I don't need a dream. I don't need another call. I don't need to move forward. She loves her familiar territory, but lives unaware of the more God has for her. A lot of us may be here. God wants to deepen her impact. He wants to stretch her faith mm, and yeah, widen yeah. her influence in a way that fits her perfectly. What God does, God does it in order. It's perfect for us when God does that. It's when we start doing things outside of the will of God or trying to help God is when we fall astray. Are you this woman? Now, I have three women on the screen, but I believe there's a fourth one. She has embraced her purpose. She still dreams. She has stretched her faith mm. and she relies fully on God. Yeah. I believe God wants her to continue to deepen her impact, to continue to stretch her faith and open new doors in influencing others in her journey. Mm. 
Amen. He is in tune with that's us. That's good. That's good. But a lot of times we're not all there. Most of us are probably at that woman number three where we, we got it, but we still need more and we got we got comfortable. A lot of us get comfortable. We get satisfied with where we are because we say, it's working for me. Yes. I don't need to do anything. I can only, I can just teach Sunday school. I don't have to go teach nobody else. I, I'm loving the Sunday school and that's all right. But God right. wants you to stretch your faith. Mm -hmm. And when we stretch our faith, we're not depending on our own abilities. We're allowing God to use us for his glory. Amen. 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 Wherever, Amen. Wherever, wherever or whatever place you find yourself, hold on. God has a plan and purpose for you on this earth. Yes. Jesus wants you to live with bold confidence in his promises and humble dependence on his voice. And uh, our author says, and I love her saying, you might hear this, she said, we have to have our ears bent toward heaven. In other words, we're listening to hear God as he speaks to us. And if we're busy talking or it's too much noise around us, we can't hear God. We can hear God. Bishop Jake says, not sure of your purpose? He says, find your passion. Yes. There's an author I just read, just um, read just recently, and she stated, God has planted desires and goals in each of us, plans that he would like us to fulfill. Sometimes we struggle so hard with finding that path, but all we really have to do is search for the thing we are best at. And, that, and then ask him to give us a plan to use that talent for his purpose. Now, I can't walk in someone else's shoes. I can't talk, speak out someone else's mouth. I have to do and use the ability that God has given me. Right. Daniel eleven thirty two 32b says, but the people that do know their God shall be strong. Be strong. And they know their God so they can be strong and do exploits. We okay. can't do anything. We are all gifted with some kind of talent. But for order for it to glorify God, we have to give that back on to God. Like, Lord, I teach yes. for your glory. Mm. Lord, I minister in song for your glory. Your, your glory. I pray yes. and go forth to minister yes. to people yes. for your glory, Lord. Yes. Not yes. 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 God, you be glorified. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory, Father. Bless the Lord. Yes. Next slide, please. Mm -hmm. Psalms um, 37 4 says, Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires and petitions of your heart. Yes. We walk according to the way, and we seek after the things of God, and we seek Him first. We are delighting ourselves in the Lord, and He will give us the desires of our heart. Yes, yes. yes. Amen. Next slide, please. My favorite scripture is Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God mm -hmm. and all his righteousness. Yes. And all these things. Yes. Shall be Amen. Amen. We have to seek God's kingdom first. Hallelujah. We put them first in all things and we don't have to worry about nothing. Amen. Not that we may not hit challenges, but we do what God has said. God always has an escape for us. He will make a way for us. His hand is upon our life. His favor on us. Hallelujah. And we can go forth and do what God has called us to do. Amen. Embrace your purpose. Hallelujah. Yes. Perfectly, you have identified yourself yes. as among the women I have just talked about. One of those four. Wherever place you're. Now let's look how we can, if, we, if we're not at that point where we're still. And I always think that we are always in a learning phase. So maybe I have grasped onto something God has given me, but I can still, as I go forth, as I get older, as I mature, I can still learn some more. So I want us to look at how to embrace our purpose. And one of two of the things that I'm just going to speak briefly on is to believe your call. Mm -hmm. You can't have purpose if you don't think you're called to it. And we all are called and you have to love your story. Yeah. Ephesians two ten says, "For we are God's masterpiece. Yeah. He has created in us a new in Christ Jesus, so that so we can do the good things He's planned for us long ago. Yeah. See, God knew us before we got here. God knew Sandy before she got here today and was sharing 
about embracing your purpose. He knew me while I was in my mother's womb. He knew me as a young child growing up. He knew me as a teenager. He knew me as I got a little bit older. Thank God for that. We are his masterpiece. Yes. And he has created us anew. Now it's up to us to accept him as our Lord and Savior. It's up yes. to us to allow God to move in our life for his glory. It's up to us to get out of the way of God that he may move and not us. Amen. Amen. God created us with a purpose even before we were born. We are not here for nothing. It's purpose in our life. It's purpose in our walk. It's purpose. Amen. Next slide, please. So you John, John 15, 16 said, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruits should abide so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it you. God chose us. Yes. Amen. Yes, he did. Amen. He appointed us and he told us to go forth and bear fruit. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. We need to go forth and bear fruit. Next yes. Slide. Praise the Lord. There are two parts to our call. It's our daily call where we listen to God's voice and do what he says, to walk in his purpose in every step, as follow of Christ. We are ever and always on call to represent him to a lost and dying world. We have work to do that will change us. It will fulfill us. It will stretch us and it will beautify us. Mm -hmm. This is our daily call. Know that your calling is anchored in Jesus. Mm -hmm. I, I mentioned a lot about stretching because what happened is we're stretching our faith to believe what it is God has called us to do. It's not always easy. I know when I first got saved, that daily call, I was like, ah, I'm afraid to go tell people about Jesus Christ. I want to approach them. I guess I was a little timid at the time, maybe. And not that I'm so boisterous now, but I know what God has called me to do. But what happened is in my early work with the Lord, it wasn't so easy to do that. But it is in us to tell others about who God is, about Amen. Jesus dying for our sin, for him Amen. getting up again. We're about to celebrate uh, Resurrection Sunday. Yes. He was He was born. He yes. lived this earth, walked this earth for some time, but he died that we might have life. And we got to let others know that, that he died, that we may have life. Yes, Lord. Amen. Our kingdom call is your purpose. Is what you believe God has placed in your heart to do mm -hmm. for the advancement of the kingdom, like starting a ministry, feeding the hungry, doing missionary work. And that's just, just to name a few. I'm just hitting on some. That's, that, that's not all of it. Whatever God has placed in your heart to do, that's your purpose. That's your kingdom call. His glory. Embrace your purpose by believing you're called. Embrace it. No, hold it in your hand. Say, Lord, I and no, this is what you placed in my heart to do. Lord, I'm going forth to do it, but I'm going under not my own strength, but the strength of God. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Yes. You can do Amen. nothing without God. Hallelujah. Yes. God. yes. yes. Glory Hallelujah. to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We must Glory. love ourselves and the story that is attached to our lives. Yes. So that's the second part. So we can believe that we are called and love our story. Each of our story may be different, but in some sense, maybe some aspects may be the same. My story may not match my sisters. My story may not match any one of y'all. Or maybe there's something in my story that does hit on. Oh, yes, I did that too. Mm -hmm. I went through that. I walked that. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But we know we have to. We have to love that story. That's us. Yes. I can't love nobody mm -hmm. else's story. I have to love That's my story. Right. That's, That's loving right. me. We are fearfully and wondrously made. There's nothing wrong with standing. Yeah. And whatever I'm walking in, whatever I'm doing, if it's outside the will of God, God will correct it. Hallelujah. To bring it to my attention. Sus, you need to do something different. Oh. Hallelujah, Jesus. I want you to do this. Walk in it yeah. and go. Forward. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I cannot do anything. I cannot be, 
or do anything other than what God has created me to be and do. Hallelujah. Yes. Can right. I walk in other shoes? Right. And I can't walk in mine. Excuse me. My God, God, my God, my God. That's, That's good. all right. Glory uh -huh. to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, God. We bless your name, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your message is to you first. Yes. That's right. Amen. Amen. You praise him. You praise him, my sister. Talking to Sandy. Hallelujah. Right now. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, yes, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Said my calling and purpose Glory belongs to, to me. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And I must be thankful for the journey. Hallelujah. Thank you. To love myself. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. It took something to get standing here Hallelujah. today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Wasn't raised in church. Got in church when I was mm. a teenager. Yes. But God saw me as I was growing because he saw me in my mother's womb. He already knew where yeah. I would be today. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. He knows yeah. where I'm going yeah. down the road. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Life is <laughs> not with us. It's yeah. ups and downs. My calling and purpose belongs to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Therefore, yes, we must Lord. be fully suited up with huh. the arm of God. Yes, Lord. Glory we must God. work out for F-E, <laughs> next time, Tanisha, F-E-A-R. It spells fear, but there's some it's an acronym, so there's something attached to it. Yes. Yeah. False evidence appearing real, Harley. That's right. Ah. False evidence appearing real. Yeah. This fear is not real. This is not a real threat. It's not a loss of someone or something dear to us. Actually, there's nothing wrong. Fear mm -hmm. is an F-E-A-R. F-E-A-R, not the word fear, but F-E-A-R, this acronym is an illusion. Yeah. Something we fabricate in our own minds and pretend it's real. We may think that we may get it wrong. We may fall on <clears> our face <throat> or misinterpret the, God's marching order. It's okay to be uneasy because it allows us to fully depend on God to use us for his glory. Yes. Whom God has called, he has also equipped. Yes. If he's told me to go forth, he's going to equip me to do the work. Yes, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. If he called me to minister, Glory he's going to equip me to go minister. Yes, if he called yes, me to yes. sing, he's going to equip me to minister yes. and song. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. If he's called me to teach, huh, he's going to equip me to go forth to teach. Yes, yes Lord. Yes, Lord. If I'm called to preach, huh, I'm going with power because he's equipped me. Hallelujah. You bless him, Hallelujah. woman of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If we trust yes, God with our God. fears, now the word fears and insecurities, we will He will entrust or give us responsibility for us with a call that puts our fears to shame. They yeah. Because see, God is working in me. I don't <laughs> care what you say. I'm standing for. I'm not afraid of the camera. I'm going to stand for it. <laughs> And I'm going to preach. Come and on. I'm going to stand forth and I'm going to cheat the word of God. Yes. Because yes. he has equipped me to go forth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He has equipped me to go forth. As we follow his lead, yes. he will lead us to rely on him in ways big and small. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we know how to uh, allow God to move and the small stuff, but the big stuff, for some reason, we think we need God's help. Yes, right. right. <laughs> I'm sorry, right. set that ball. We think God needs our help. Let me correct you. Mm. We think in the small thing, God, you got it. In the big thing, God, I need to, I need help to help you. you with that, God. I need to, yes. And he ain't asked us to help with nothing. <laughs> and then sometimes it's reverse. We put the big things over to God. And the small things that God don't worry about this God. I got it. I got it. I could do this, Lord. I got it. But no, God will help Jesus. us in the big things and yes, in the small things. And in the small things. We need things. to get out of his way. Yeah. yeah. We yes. need to yes. get out of God's a, way. Get out of his way. Get out of his way. When God calls us out, it sometimes could be terrifying. It can be excitement. We fight out ready to go, Lord. But hey. We have to take it as we receive it. Yes. I want to talk a little bit about Peter's walk on 
um, on the water in Matthew 14, verses 25 to 28. Mm -hmm. At the fourth hour, Jesus had walked on the water and they were afraid. They thought he was a ghost. Mm -hmm. But Peter, Peter's like, okay, Lord, I, I, I see you, Lord, I need me to come. And he did. But once Peter took his eyes off of God, he began to think. Yeah. Yes. A lot of times the same thing happened yes. to us. Uh -huh. God said, we said, God, yes, God, yes, use me, Lord. Use me, Lord. Use me, Lord. I, I'm ready, Lord. But then we start taking our eyes off of him. And yeah. We to think. We sink because our eyes are not on God. Amen. We should not allow any hindrances to keep us or derail or delay us on the call God has placed on our life. Mm -hmm. The devil will try to delay our call. But if we keep our eyes on God and we do according to his will, we are victorious. Amen. We need to know that. We are victorious. Oh, yes. Next slide yes, for me, Tanisha. Are. Thank you. God. Bless your name, Jesus. L love your story. It says, for jealousy and selfishness are not God's kind of wisdom. Such things are earthly, unspiritual, and demonic. For whatever there is, where, for wherever there is jealousy and selfish mm. ambition, there you will find disorder and evil. Mm. And, and that's a new um, NLT version of the screen. Mm -hmm. um, next slide, Tanisha, please. So again, here I am. I'm, I'm just defining some words. The state of being jealousy is the state of feeling of being jealous. And you mm -hmm. see some picture in there, the head blowed up. You got lightning bolts. You got people at odds with one another. People <laughs> talking. There's money going on. Disagreement here. Disagreement there. It's a, jealousy is not a good characteristic. No. Not in the child of God. Amen. We ought to be praying for one another. Okay. Lord, Amen. you're using her in that ministry. Continue yes. to uplift yes. her. Yes. Amen. Cut her under thy wings, Lord. Put people on, on the right on. places, poor Lord. Let them be a help to her and not a hindrance. Yes. 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 Gotta do it. Yes. You gotta know that we can honor God when our close friend ministry is true. Oh, yes. We gotta Thank open you, our Jesus. hearts that jealousy and envy will not choke the life out of our genes. Because mm. I'm too busy concerned with my sister's blessing. How can I walk in my core? Uh, yeah. These negative Amen. characteristics will pull me down. That's it. I want that. That's it. That's it. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Amen. next word I want to deal with in that scripture was selfishness. Mm -hmm. It's a quality of state of being selfish. It could turn for your own welfare or advantage at the spirit mm -hmm. of or a disregard mm -hmm. for others. Yeah. Excessive interest in self. And you know, it's always I, 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 I. Individual, ego, no egotist, narcissist, immoral, mm -hmm. with Amen. Proud, Amen. With arrogant. It's our Amen. own personality. Yes. Yes. It's mm -hmm. many of us. You know, we have self admiration. Yes. We love, you know, and it's okay to love yourself, but not yes. at the extent of others. That's right. That's Salvation right. is not selfish. That's right. Ministry Amen. is not selfish. Thank you. God yes. is not a selfish God. No. 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 So I'm going to give you some examples. I work with the pastor daily. Bill got promoted to the assistant pastor, but uh, where's my promotion? Uh, Lord Jesus, I let the Jesus. <laughs> and Jill got recognized by the pastor, but where, where's my recognition? <laughs> I visited Jesus. sick at the nursing home. Phil got a certificate. Where my accolade? <laughs> no, that's not how it is. Okay. That's what God first wants first us to be. Amen. Amen. That's Real right. example. Right. It should yes. be. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for Phil. Thank you for yes, Jill. Lord. Thank you for Bill. You use them, Lord. And you may say, I'm sorry, well, my time may be coming, Lord, but I'm going to wait on you. Yes, yes Lord. Because maybe yes, it Lord. my time, because maybe if I got promoted assistant pastor, whoosh, here we got big. <laughs> Get all about. My mm. service to the Lord and what I'm supposed to do because now I am the assistant pastor. Yeah. My, my, my. No, that's not how God works. Yeah. Amen. Right. Next slide, Tanisha, yeah. please. Thank you. We want to grow and mature and be happy. We have to practice giving thanks even when we don't feel like it. Yes. Next slide, Tanisha, please. Gratitude and faith are the antidotes for jealousy envy and selfishness if the enemy can get us to compare ourselves to another 
he can derail us at least for the moment. Mm -hmm. From God's best plan for us, we gain nothing. Look like I lost my side, but I'm going to go ahead. We gain yes, nothing by on. committing the sin That's of comparison. Good. It only bears two kinds of fruit. And that's why that's why 816, Tanisha. Thank you. That's fruits of pride and despair, neither of which come from the vine. If our comparison put, puts us on top, we start to think we're something apart from God. If we find ourselves on the bottom, we're tempted to think we're not, nothing in spite of God. Both makes us look away from God. When we choose envy or jealousy, we forsake the idea that God is good and knows what's best for us. Mm -hmm. When we walk closely with the Lord, our desires become pure, our goals clearer, love nourishes us, and jealousy starves us. Right. Nobody wants to starve. That's right. Nobody wants to starve, so we need to be right. to God, That's have gratitude, and step out and stretch our faith that he can use us for yes. his glory. Yeah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Yeah. When we choose, uh, how we do we overcome jealousy and envy? And that's this slide. We come to a place where we have to and come to a place where we can embrace our story. We bow down and ask forgiveness for the absence of a grateful heart. Thank you, Jesus. We bow down and ask forgiveness for the absence of a grateful heart. Thank you. We repent of, we renown, we reject any sense of entitlement or ingratitude. Right. I ain't owed nothing. That's no. right. Yes, yes. Does not owe me anything. Right? Yes. Some died that I might have life. I need to give him thanks and praise for who he is. He's my savior yeah. and deliverer. He made a way out of nowhere. He gave me purpose in my life. Hallelujah. All right. Yes. I want to embrace yes. my story. Hallelujah. Embrace I want to embrace it. it. Baby. Embrace it. That belongs yes. to me yes. as well. Yes. Yes. <laughs> glory, glory. That's why I please to meet you. I want to share with you a quote by this gentleman called Steve Marabone. And some of that material, just so you know, is, is taken from uh, the book called um, Your Beautiful Life by Susie uh, Lawson. That description of woman, I think I had a footnote down there, but you'll see that. Wonderful. Amen. Steve says, this is my life, my story, my book. I will no longer let anyone else write, nor will I apologize for the edits of me. That's right. No, now outside of God, I can't right, allow God. anybody else to write my story. Right, they can't God. write my life. They can't write right. my book. They, I ain't gonna let them change it. I have to. You can't make me an evangelist when God hasn't called me to be evangelist. You can't have me do something that I ain't called to do because God Amen. hasn't called me to do it. <coughs> So I won't apologize even for the edits I make in life that I may have to make some changes in because maybe I stepped out on something. Ah, God said, no, nah, no, nah, Sandy, 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 that ain't for you. Step yeah. out of here. So now has edited the story. Jesus. Amen. Jesus of life spent serving oh in ways that don't seem to match your gifts or passion. Season where we feel overlooked and completely missed. Season where the storms of life seem to focus their fire on us. But if God leads us to it, he will lead us through it. Amen. Yeah. If God Amen. leads us to it, he will Amen. lead us Amen. through it. Amen. Yes, he will. Yes. Yes. God calls Amen. us to live as ones who are spoken for. He knows where we should go and what we should do. Okay. Ask God to stir up in you a passion for your assigned purposes or purpose. To help you love what he loves. Hate what he hates. Want what he wants, do what he would do, say what he would say. Amen. He will break into you with fresh purpose. Hallelujah. Yes. Like Isaiah said in six and eight, he said, God, hear my send me. I'm telling you, uh -huh. the substitute, I'm actually the substitute. And I changed the word, just substitute briefly. Substitute sin for me. Here am I, Lord, to use me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Here am I, Lord, Amen. use me for your glory. Yes. 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 Yes, Lord. The grace your purpose. Next slide. Please. Yes, Lord. Thank yes, Lord. And I just want to share this prayer, another insert from Susie Lawson. I, I just love uh, reading her and learning from it. Our prayer says, our Father, what an honor and privilege it is to be linked in fellowship with you. I want to live with an air bent. And I told you about that, right? Mm -hmm. I want to live with an air bent towards heaven. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Give me yes. eyes to see, ears to hear, and a heart to do your will. Yes. Stop in me a passion for your assigned purposes for me. Yes, yes Lord. Me with very fresh passion and purpose and give me an acute sense of your voice. Yes, okay. Lord. Lead me on and glorify your name. Mm. Lead me on and glorify your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 We want purpose in our life. Yes. Yeah. We yeah. want that purpose to have passion so that we can do yes. it. Yes. Yeah. We don't want to be lukewarm in anything that we do for God. Amen. We want to be purpose on fire. So oh, use me for your glory. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You want to use yes. me to not be satisfied because I know it's you. My that's God. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I know it's you that's using me. Thank you. Thank you. Embrace Thank you. your passion. I encourage you all to embrace your passion. Find out who you are, what type of woman you are, what you need from God, and embrace yes. your passion. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. That's it. This, this workshop. And I thank you for your attendance and encouragement and a clapping. And Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 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 Praise the